you know, I'm not a photojournalist. Some of my best friends are photojournalists. I don't know if I want my daughter to marry one, but I respect very much what, what they do. And I've, I've taken on some of the characteristics of going into a place very quickly and surmising how to work around it. You know, if I pull into a village, let's say in Liberia, I know it's, you know, it's three o'clock and I have until seven and so I have four hours and I'm making these pictures and I'm gonna make other pictures. I'm also shooting a video. I have to leave enough time to sort of ask people the questions I wanna ask them. Each medium that I work with is a different characteristic. And then the result is something that's kind of multi-leveled perhaps, not just one thing. But for me, you know, I don't mind telling a larger story or a different story than what you're seeing in the picture. It can be more about metaphor than about a specific situation. Ways of haves and have nots and how to, how to comprehend that or uh, power and powerlessness or real, real needs as opposed to wants, or why do we need to keep making the same mistakes? Why do we keep having genocides? That doesn't, doesn't always make sense to me. So I want to understand that. I think going to these places helps me understand it a bit more. And I think that my documentary practice can sort of push the boundaries a little bit and not just be about what's in front, but raises more questions and gives answers. So I think that's that's the model that I use in my practice. I think that's what I do. I just figure out other ways of telling the story. It's more about storytelling. Of course, being a witness to these things. <laughs>